Hello everyone, I am your narrator, Paranormal Poet, and a happy spooky Saturday to you. Join me as we delve into another true, terrifying, user-submitted story. Story 9. All it did was stare. Hello, Paranormal Poet. Of all the encounters I've had with the paranormal, this one rattled me really bad. In fact, it rattles me today, recalling my story. My name is Kate, and since I was a young teen, I have had episodes of sleep paralysis. I would always see things out of the corner of my eye in my room, but it would disappear. And this mainly happened to me most when I would be tired to the point of delirium and needed to take a nap. Never when I was supposed to sleep through the night always when I decided to nap. So June of 2022, I was hanging out with my friends in the living room when all of a sudden, from behind, I heard a man breathing in my ear. A few seconds later, I hear what sounds like scratching on my wall. I heard it three times before it stopped. I turned to see no one there. My friends saw I was visibly shaken up and asked what had happened. I said, you don't hear that? And all they did was look at me, concerned and confused. Hours had passed, and my friends had already left to go home. I called it a night and went to bed shortly after they did. While I lay in bed, after 15 minutes of closing my eyes, I woke up by the sound of rushing air. I opened my eyes to see nothing there, but that's when I realized I couldn't move. I moved my eyes, but even that was tough. That's when I saw it, a dark shadow manifesting on the wall. It was a glowing mass of a shadow figure. I felt my heart begin racing, but what was even worse, I was paralyzed. I couldn't move. I was vulnerable, and in a blink of an eye, it was gone. My body couldn't move, but my head could, so I looked up at the ceiling to see the same black mass. This entity, whatever it was, was sitting on my chest, making it harder to breathe. Then I saw dark hands reach for my neck, and in a flash, it was gone. That was by far the worst episode of sleep paralysis I've ever gone through. It left me scarred, and with questions I know I won't have answers for. I can only imagine what it had the power to do, but chose not to. Either way, I am now a full believer in the paranormal. What I experienced was traumatizing, but what's worse, I know I'm not alone. You're right, Katie. You aren't the only one I've visited. I've told that to many. And tonight, it might be you. <laughs> be sure to subscribe for more narrated content. This has been your narrator, Paranormal Poet.